Well, hello there, everyone. It is Mitch from Deface Games. Open world games are fan favorites among all games. And today we are back with a new list of best open world games of 2021 that you can play on PC or Steam right now or in the upcoming months. Without further ado, let's dive right into our first game. First up is Dying Light 2 an upcoming first-person zombie apocalyptic-themed action RPG. The game begins 15 years after Dying Light, starring a new protagonist named Aiden Caldwell, who is equipped with various parkour skills. Players can perform actions such as climbing ledges, sliding, leaping off from edges, and wall running to quickly navigate the city. More than double the parkour moves have been added since the first game. Some are exclusive to particular areas of the city, The game is mostly melee-based, with the majority of fighting using melee weapons. The melee weapons have a limited lifespan and will degrade the longer the player uses the melee weapons in combat. New zombies have been added. Like the first game, the zombies are slow when exposed to sunlight, but they become more aggressive and hostile at night. Second, Biomutant. It's an action role-playing game set in an open-world environment and played from a third-person perspective in which the player takes control of a mammalian warrior in a world filled with mutated animals. Players can customize their character, length, body shape, and thickness. Fur, fangs, and many other attributes can be tweaked and all have direct impact on the statistics of the playable character during gameplay. The combat system combines melee attacks with long-range shooting. The player collects parts throughout the game and combines these parts to create a weapon. The game features a variety of affixes, including cryogenic and electrical, which are effective in battles. Biomutant also features a karma system for non-playable characters and a companion system for recruiting allies, for fighting and traveling alongside the player. And up next, Days Gone. In this zombie-ridden world, you ride and fight into a deadly, post-pandemic America. You play as Deacon St. John, a drifter and bounty hunter who rides the bike with a buddy, fighting to survive while searching for his girl in this open-world action-adventure game. The game feels lived in, the characters have life to them, and the game is absolutely gorgeous. Deacon is a great, conflicted protagonist who feels like an ass at times, but that's the point. He is meant to be realistic in this hostile environment. He grows into a far more charismatic character the longer you play. This game is varied enough to keep things fresh and has meaningful rewards for doing the optional checklists, which keep the gameplay loop entertaining. Guns are weighty and fun, and hordes are really fun to beat. Then comes Far Cry 6. It's an upcoming first-person shooter set on Yara, a fictional Caribbean island ruled as a dictatorship by El Presidente Anton Castillo, who is raising his son Diego to follow his rule. The player takes the role of guerrilla fighter Danny Rojas, attempting to topple Castillo and his regime. The player can select Danny's gender at the start of the game. The basic gameplay follows from previous Far Cry games, with players using makeshift weapons, vehicles, and hiring Amigos, the new Fangs for Hire system, to topple the tyrannical regime. Players can fight against Anton's troops in the largest Far Cry playground to date, across jungles, beaches, and Esperanza, the capital city of Yara and Far Cry's first urban setting. And up next, we have Valheim. It's an exploration and open-world survival game for 1 to 10 players, set in a procedurally generated purgatory inspired by Viking culture. The game has punishing dodge and block-based combat systems with a wide range of weapons. You can summon and defeat creatures of myth and legend and collect trophies to progress and craft new powerful items. You can also build and sail ships from flimsy rafts to imposing warships to conquer the seas and discover new lands. There is also a flexible house and base building system where you can build, raise mead halls, farms, settlements, outposts, castles, and more. 
Valheim also supports independent, player-hosted servers and unlimited world creation. Okay, so now we have New World. It is an upcoming massively multiplayer online open world role playing game by Amazon Game Studios. Set in the mid 1600s, players colonize a fictional land modeled after colonial America in the Atlantic Ocean. The players may form groups of up to five members, join one of three factions, utilize node resources, craft items, gain control over settlements, quest, just explore the sandbox, fight other players or monsters. The gameplay involves no auto-locked targeting attacks, and therefore, a steady hand at aiming is required. With each level, the hostile mobs are programmed with ever-increasing complexity and strength sequences of attacking behavior skill sets. The game will be using a buy-to-play business model, meaning there will be no monthly mandatory subscription fee. Which, if you ask me, sounds pretty great. And next, we have Atomic Heart, an upcoming open-world FPS video game with action role-playing elements. The game takes place in the Soviet Union in an alternative reality sometime in 1955, where technology like the internet, holograms, and robots have already been invented. The main protagonist is a mentally unstable KGB special agent called P3 who is sent by the government to investigate a manufacturing facility that has fallen silent. The combat in the game consists of shooting and melee swinging with improvised weapons. There is a crafting system where the weapons can be pieced together from metal parts that can be detached from the robots or taken from household appliances. Ammo in the game is scarce, and there is a sneaking option. Quick time events are also featured in this game. And next, Hazel Sky. It's an open-world adventure game about a young engineer facing his destiny and his desires. You are sent to an island far from home in the flying city of Gideon, where Shane, the main protagonist, must pass the trials and return as an engineer or face banishment. Connected via radio, Shane and fellow trainee engineer Aaron strike up an illicit friendship, a friendship that will change the way Shane sees the world. The trials are the ultimate test that every engineer must take before taking the honored role. So you can basically jump, climb, swing, and slide your way through the trials. You can also repair and build an assortment of incredible flying machines as well, which lets you enjoy the gorgeous views of this fantastic world from atop. Next up, No More Heroes 3. This is a third-person action-adventure hack-and-slash game where the player assumes the role of the professional assassin, Travis Touchdown. The game features five unique islands, which the player can traverse using a motorcycle. To progress in the game, the player must accrue enough money from the missions to pay an entry fee to a ranked battle. The player must then fight through levels featuring various enemies and obstacles, culminating in a unique boss battle at the very end. The player can perform various light and heavy combos with the sword. Successful strikes power up the player's ecstasy gauge, whereas taking damage depletes it, rewarding the player's ability to perform uncontested damage and providing several benefits. Okay, last but definitely not least, Sherlock Holmes. Chapter 1. This is an upcoming open-world action-adventure and mystery video game, described as an origin story. The game follows young Sherlock Holmes as he investigates a mystery in his family's home on the Mediterranean island of Cordona, after his mother's death. During missions, you can choose either brute force to solve problems or stay one step ahead of your enemies by using your wits to spot vulnerabilities. So, It's up to you to decide whether uncovering the truth will do more harm than good, and how that will shape the man you'll become. You can explore and exploit the entire city in your pursuit of truth, using clues, rumors, disguises, tags, 
and pinned evidence to build a solid case within your mind palace. Okay, and with this, we wrap up our video with a promise to bring you a lot more in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified for our upcoming videos. See you next time.